Carson Newman falls to Newberry, a really back and forth hard fought game, but ultimately Newberry got the win to end the three game winning streak. Just first of all, what stands out to you about the contest? Well, you know, I, I don't feel like we had a, a lot of good effort. Uh, you know, I kind of felt like before the game that uh, our energy wasn't good. And, uh, you know, in order to play the style of play we want to play, which is up tempo and pressing, you know, you got to have everybody on board to play that way. And it just, uh, I could kind of tell in their faces that they weren't there. And, and so that kind of comes back to me that it's my job as the head coach to, uh, to get them to that point, but uh, you know it was really frustrating first half that uh, we weren't able to get anything going offensively and uh, really getting beat too easy out of our press. Carson Newman came out firing in the second half. Shante Marcus getting seven and nine points, but then Newberry after that 13-0 run really took the Lady Eagles out of the game. It seemed. Yeah, you know we got back in the ball game and, and we were in good shape with plenty of time to go, and then uh, and, and that was after a point where we had to really do some subbing. We had to go five for five because we just weren't getting anything done with the five that was on the floor. Uh, and then that five came in, and the energy picked up considerably. And, you know, against a team like Newberry, you can't wait until uh, uh, three quarters through the game to, to kind of get that effort and find five that will get out there and get it done for you. And we had spurts where we had individual players, you know, getting it done. You know, J.J. put up good numbers again, getting a double-double, I guess, getting close to another triple-double. Uh, but she can't do it by herself. And, and she had some other people helping her. You know, I'm not going to name names, but it was just too many no-shows tonight. Um, some of our best players didn't show up, and they, they showed it on their face. And you just can't expect to win ball games in this league on a night-to-night basis when you don't have the whole team showing up. As always, we can take on Newberry. Haley Lopeo takes up a lot of space in the post, and she made it tough on some players. But how do you feel like Carson Newman did it against her today? I mean, I think we did all right. I guess she was quite close to her average, I suppose. Um, you know, 15, so she was close to her average. But uh, she is a wide body, you know. We've got a, you know, it's a hard guard for anybody in our league, and especially for us. And you know, I thought we did an okay job, but then you know, letting 32 do what she did to us is just completely unacceptable. And and that might be the big thing that kind of cost us the game is letting 32 go off. And now Carson Newman on the road for two games. First up, uh, going to Anderson on Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got three days here to turn it around. I mean, obviously, it's a devastating loss, and in, in my opinion, uh, losing a home game. And uh, you know. We, we're still up there at top, and, and we're going to have to, you know, kind of a test of character, so to speak, uh, to make sure we stay together and don't let one loss uh, define our season. And, of course, we know we got two tough road games coming up at Anderson and Cantaba, and uh, we know we'll have to have two good days of uh, work on Monday and Tuesday and, and prepare. For, you know, Anderson's good, Cantaba's good. I mean, a lot of good teams in our league. So we can't take off, na- off nights. When you take off nights and you get the result like we got today. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.